Greetings, beloved. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We welcome you on another Bible study night, and we're in the last chapter. <laughs> Glory to God. The last chapter of the book of Revelation, chapter 22. And then go ahead and just turn there. Listen, it, call somebody up. Glory to God. Have them to watch along with you, and be sure you share it. And if you've not, listen, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Glory to God. Glory to God. Go ahead and hit it if you have not. And then, listen, if, if it's been a, a, a blessing to you, if you've been enriched, you've been helped, give us a thumbs up. Let us hear it. And make a comment. Amen. It's all right. Glory to God. We welcome that in the name of Jesus. Praise God. And we welcome you on tonight and trust and pray that you had a, a blessed day. And now as we come on to Bible study on tonight, and that's what it is, it's Bible study. It's studying the Bible, the Word of God. Hallelujah. The B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So listen, go ahead and pull up, whether it's on your iPhone, your iPad, your laptop, whether you're on your 75-inch, 105-inch, whatever you got. Glory to God. Pull it up and scoot up. Praise God, and let's get ready because I think it's going to be a great teaching on tonight. And as we said earlier, we're, we're on the last chapter of the book of Revelation. Glory to God. And so we're going to begin reading at the first verse. And, and before I begin, let me, let, me, um, let me say this, and that is, you know, from the very onset, and, and, and the Holy Spirit reminded me of it again to, to do this. You know, if you read the first chapter of the book of Revelation, remember in, 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 in Revelation chapter 1, verse 19, the Lord specifically told uh, John, he, listen, write, write the things which you've seen. What did he see? He saw a vision of Christ. The golden candlesticks in the midst of the golden candle. And then he said, write the things which are. R remember, those, those three things are very instrumental in helping you understand and rightly divide the word of God. It's, it's, it's instrumental in helping you understand the book of Revelation. Again, don't be afraid to read the book. Get in it. Dwell in it. Glory to God. And, and, and the Lord pronounces a blessing upon those who are reading here. And do the things of this prophecy. Are you hearing me, beloved? So I want to encourage you. Don't shy away from this book. Read it. Read it. Read it. And the Holy Spirit, listen, through anointed teaching and preaching, listen, you'll get a revelation. You'll begin to see things in the word of God that you never saw before. Are you hearing me, beloved? But he, he told John, he said, write the things which you've seen. And if, you, and if you just turn there, you can read it in that 19th verse of the first chapter. Write the things which thou hast seen. John tells about in the first chapter the things that he had seen, as well as the second chapter. And he says, write the things which are. The things which are is the church age. We're still in the church age. And then he says, write the things which shall be hereafter. After the church age, and, and in this 22nd chapter and, and throughout those chapters from the fourth chapter, uh, somewhere in the beginning of those verses, all the way up to the 22nd chapter, we, those are the things which shall be hereafter. And so the things which are, shall be hereafter has not yet come. Are you hearing me? Because we're still in the church age. But when the church age is over, those things which shall be hereafter. And so we're reading that on tonight. So follow along with us. And, and in this 22nd chapter, in this first verse, we see that paradise is being restored. Okay? And so let's start reading at the first verse. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal. Wow. And this is somewhat symbolic of the Holy Spirit. He showed me a pure, listen, river of water of life, clear as crystal. Listen, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And that, that water of life is made possible by what Jesus Christ did on the cross for you and I. Are you hearing me, beloved? And, 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 and in this 22nd chapter, we, you know, paradise is being restored. In other words, that which God intended from the very beginning. 
And, and we'll get a little bit more into, into that as we read on. Look at verse 2. He says, in the midst of the street of it, in the midst of the street of what? In the midst of the street of what? It's, it's going to tell us. And listen, in the midst of the street of it, the, the, that pure uh, river of water and of life, listen, he says, and on the other side of the river, there, listen, was there the tree of life. Wow. Which, listen, bear 12 manners of fruits and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. My God, this is, this is, that's, this is being, uh, you know, getting to that perfect age. Are, are you with me? And uh, keep in mind, you know, John said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Because if you look, if you look at the 21st chapter and look at, look at verse number one, he says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first, listen, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first earth and the first earth, listen, were passed away, and there was no more sea, because there's going to be rivers and streams, but there won't be any, any oceans. There won't be any Atlantic and Pacific and Indian Ocean anymore in that perfect age, in that, that new Jerusalem. Are, are you hearing me? In that which is to come. He says, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, crisp, listen, clear, clear, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. My God. Keep in mind, in the, in the very beginning, when God created everything and placed Adam and Eve in the garden, listen, that was paradise. But guess what? It was marred by the fall, marred by Adam and Eve's sin in the garden. Are you with me? Are you hearing me, beloved? And, 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 and so if, if, if you allow me to say this, this is what, what John is talking about now is a new Eden or a new garden, so to speak. In other words, listen, listen, the, 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 the kingdom of God will come. In other words, God, God's, there's going to be a remake, a new heaven and a new earth. It's going to be as God intended it from the very beginning until it was marred by Adam and Eve's sin in the garden. Are you with me? So there's going to be a new Eden, a new garden. Glory to God. Are you understanding that? Are you seeing that? Glory to God. In other words, uh, there, there will be that new heaven, that new earth. Uh, we, we, and I, I, I ministered a message some weeks back. You know, we call it heaven, I call it home. You're going to have a new home, beloved. There's going to be a new home. And this new home, listen, listen John, John gives a description of it. It, listen, he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and, listen, and of the Lamb and in the midst of the street of it, which he just spoke of in verse 1, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, the fruit, listen, the river was there, the tree of life was there. Keep in mind, in the beginning, there was a tree. <laughs> Are you with me in the beginning? But remember, everything was marred by Adam and Eve's sin in the garden. So God is going to do a remake in that perfect age. Listen, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth, a new Jerusalem, if you will. Listen, which had 12 manners of fruit and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves and the leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nation. You know, I'm, I'm listen to what I'm about to say right now. Uh, I, I read something that a great man of God uh, wrote, and I, I, I definitely agree with him in, in what he said. Because in this new heaven and this new earth, and now keep in mind now, we as believers, when the rapture takes place, we're going to have our glorified bodies. There are people who no doubt will be uh, in the kingdom age that will, 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 will come to God and be, be living for Christ. Because, because notice, notice it says, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was the tree of life, was the tree of life, and in, in, in the, the, the river of water of life. In other words, 
no doubt it's going to have some sustaining properties. Hear what I just said. That, that tree of life and that river, it's going to have some sustaining properties, no doubt. Are you hearing me, beloved? There are going to be 12 different types of fruit. We, we aren't told what that fruit is. Keep in mind, in the beginning, there was fruit. Adam and them took fruit from the tree. Are you with me? The, the, the one tree that God told them, listen, not to eat the fruit thereof. Are you hearing me? So it, there's going to be this new heaven, this new Jerusalem, which is going to be a remake or a redo, if you will. Glory to God. And it says, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. In other words, stopping all kind of sicknesses or diseases. Listen, uh, e even before it begins, even before it begins, hear what I just said. Even before it begins. And as I was alluding to earlier, there's something that I read from a great man of God, and I, I, I definitely agree with him about this. It's just, just a thought, and I'm going to throw it out there to you. And that is that I, I, I believe, and listen to what I'm about to say now, okay? Now don't, don't jump out your seat. Don't go running around the house. Just listen, okay? Uh, I, I, you know, you say, well, Bishop, and give me Bible for it, and, and I'm going to try to do that as best I can. But I believe that, that of course, we, we won't age, we won't grow old. Are you with me? But I believe that in this new Jerusalem, the new heaven, what I call home, I believe that we're going to be, what? Jesus, when he ascended into heaven, he was somewhere in the 33 and a half years old. I believe we're going to be at that same age. And, and you may say, well, why do you say that? Well, go with me, if you will, and uh, I'm going to show you why I say that. Go to 1 John, and uh, 1 John, 1 John, the epistle of John. Go with me to 1 John, and let's look at, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Let's look at 1 John chapter 2 and uh, 1 John chapter 3. My bad. First John chapter three. And let's look at verse two. Listen to what it says. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Hear this. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, referring to the rapture, that when he shall appear, we shall be like, hear this, we shall be like him. That's, that's speaking of that glorified body. Are you hearing me? We shall be, listen, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. My God, my God, my God, my God. Those, those physical eyes in a mortal body. Are you hearing me? Let, let me read that again. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, talking about the rapture, okay, we shall be what? Like him. And that's speaking of being glorified, because we will have glorified bodies. Corruption going to put on any corruption. Mortality going to put on immortality. And we shall be what? Changed. Are you with me? For we shall see him. Oh, my God. As he is. Because in a mortal body, you cannot look on him. But when, listen, but <laughs> I say in a, mortal, in a mortal body, you cannot look on him. Remember, we're going to take off mortality and put on immortality. We're going to take off corruption and put on incorruption. Are you with me, beloved? My God, my God. And so we'll be able to look on that glory of him with our glorified bodies. Listen to what I just said. We'll be able to look on the glory of him with our glorified bodies. Are you hearing me, beloved? And so that's why when you go back to the second verse of the 22nd chapter, and it says, which, which listen, which shall bear 12 manners of fruit and yielded a fruit every month, and the leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nations. So as it regards this new heaven and this new earth, 
as it regards the new Jerusalem and in that where there won't be any more dying, there won't be any more crying, there won't be any more sorrow. And so Jesus was 33 and a half years when he ascended into the heavens. Are you with me? After the resurrection, he was 33 and a half years when he ascended to the heavens. So that, I'm just throwing that out there. I, I happened to read that of another great man of God that I met many years ago and have a great deal of respect for. And when, he, when I read that in, in, in one of his books, when I read that, I got to thinking and I said, you know what? Wow. Wow. We'll probably be 33 and a half years old. In terms of, and, 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 and understand, understand me as, as I, I say that now. When I say 33 and a half years old, I'm, I'm talking about in terms of years as we know now. Okay, keep in mind, during that time, it's going to be different. But in terms of years as we know now. Are you with me, beloved? So I just wanted to throw that out there to you. Uh, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I am looking forward to that day. Glory to God. I am looking forward to that day. I am looking forward to my new home. Now, I'm, you know, I, and I had to say this before, I'm not trying to rush and get there. But let me tell you something. When God is ready to take me home, guess what? I'm ready to go. Are you hearing me? Whenever that may be. And, I, and you've heard me say this many times in my teaching. I believe... And, and, and this is just this is just Bishop now. I believe that I'm going to be taken by the upper taker before the undertaker, because I believe in my lifetime that we will experience the rapture of the church. May not because nobody knows the day or the hour. I don't know. But I'm just saying when I look at the time clock of things, when I look at what is going on in the world today, I just really believe that I'm going to be listen that I'm going to go with the upper taker before the undertaker. And if not, hey, guess what? Fine. Are you hearing me, beloved? That's, that's, just, that's just coming from Bishop. So I just wanted to throw that out there at you. Glory to God. Give you something to think about. Hallelujah to Jesus. Go with me to uh, Revelation chapter 2 and uh, uh, verse number 7. I want to read that because it has reference to it in, in that second verse of the 22nd chapter. Uh, Revelation chapter 2 and um, uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7. Go, go there with me, if you will. It says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to what? To eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of of the paradise of God. Woo! Let me read that latter part again. To him who overcomes, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Because in the 22nd chapter, as well as in the 21st chapter, that new heaven, that new earth, that new paradise, because paradise is going to be restored. Are you hearing me, beloved? It's going to be restored. Because doing, listen, Adam and Eve lost that paradise in the garden by their rebellion against God because of sin. Are you with me? And God had, and from the very beginning, had intended paradise. Are you with me? But because of sin, it was lost. But I want you to know, paradise is going to be restored. Glory to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. In other words, the, 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 listen, listen, the curse is going to be removed. Are you hearing me, beloved? It's going to be removed. There's going to be that new heaven and that new earth. The, the, the curse is going to be lifted in, in that kingdom age, and, and which, which will precede the perfect age. So you have the kingdom age, and then there's the perfect age. Let's read on. Verse number three. It says, And there shall be no more curse. There is not going to be a curse in the perfect age. <laughs> Listen, there won't be any curse in the perfect age. Remember in Genesis chapter 3, verse, uh, I believe, verse 17. Let's, let's just go there. Genesis 3, 17, because uh, I want to read this in your hearing. Praise God. Look at Genesis chapter 3 and verse number 17. Oh, glory to God. And I'm going to read it in your hearing. This is, and unto Adam, he said, because you have hearkened unto the voice of your wife. Mm-mm-mm. In other words, Adam listened to Eve instead of God. Um, 
Let me throw something out at you, men. <laughs> listen to the voice of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and notice, listen, when the fall took place, Adam began to blame. He, listen, he tried to put the blame on God. Well, Lord, that, that woman thou gavest me. Are you hearing me, beloved? And, and then Eve, listen, she tried to put the blame. Listen, it, well, she tried to put the blame on the serpent. It hadn't have been for that serpent. Are you with me? All they had to do was obey God, be obedient to what God said. And guess what? People continue to make excuses today. They, they continue to say the same thing today. Matter of fact, while I'm, while I'm on that, let me say this here. Why aren't you coming to church? Let me ask you again. Why aren't you coming to church? Well, Bishop, cause of COVID. Well, why are you going to the restaurant? Why are you going to Wally World? Why are you going to Publix? Hello? Come on, somebody. Huh? Why are you still going on that job? Well, 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 COVID out there, right? Jesus in here. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hmm. See, we don't want to hear that. You know, a lot of people are using COVID as an excuse. You know, they, you know, COVID, 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 COVID. No, Jesus, 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 Jesus. But people are using COVID as an excuse. It's amazing. And, and I, I'm appalled when I see people. I see various people that I know. They're going everywhere. To and fro, all over. Listen, the town center, the restaurants, but then they don't come to church. And they, watch this here. And, and, and scripture, listen, scripture says, forsake not the assembling of yourself. Now, I know I'm, I'm, I'm meddling now. Scripture says, forsake not the assembling of yourself as the manner of some is. But, but listen, as you see the day approaching, you sure want to be in the house of God even the more. Are you with me? But, but Bishop, COVID going on. You, you, come on now. Well, why, listen, why are you still going to the grocery store, sweetie? Why, why, listen, why are you still going to Disney World and Wally World? Huh? Why are you going to Bush Gardens when you need to be in the garden? Are you with me? You, you, you follow along with me? Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? Now don't get, don't listen. Don't, 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 don't get mad at me. Don't, 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 don't throw apples and oranges at me. I'm just giving you truth. And see, people don't want to be confronted with truth anymore. And what has happened now with the whole COVID thing, because let me tell you something. And I've said this many times to our congregation here at SRC. This whole pandemic is going to, listen, it's going to define you. It's going to define you and where you are in terms of your relationship with Christ. Now, I'm not minimizing COVID, COVID, not at all. Use wisdom, use common sense. But here's my point is, folk are going everywhere else but to church anymore. Have you noticed that? And what has happened is, since they have had their little sabbatical, they have become... Uh, uh, have moved into a comfort zone and, and, and they are losing their convictions about church attendance anymore. And, and I'm going to share something else with you. Even in their relationship with Christ, I'm, I will guarantee you it's waning. You can say what you want to. I will guarantee you their relationship with Christ is waning. It is waning. Are you hearing me, beloved? Because let me tell you something. In order to stay warm, you got to stay around the fire. Remember what Peter did? The scripture says he followed, but he followed from afar off. And then when, when he was questioned by the damsel, well, Bishop, I thought we were supposed to be, I'm, I'm, I am in Revelation. When he was questioned about the damsel, when the damsel, you notice what he did? The, the, the scripture says he began to curse and say, I don't know the man. Boop, boop, boop. Listen, he would have had a whole lot of beeps beeped out. Are you with me? So my question is to you, are you following Christ? And if you say you are, then you're doing it from a distance. And see, when you, listen, when you're not around the fire, you can't stay warm, beloved. Are you hearing me? If you're cold, you want to get around the fire so you can stay warm and heat it up. Are you hearing me? I just thought I'd throw that in there.
Glory to God. But, but, but let, 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 me, let me finish reading that 17th verse. And, and unto Adam he said, because you have hearkened unto the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, saying, you shall not eat of it. Hear this, hear this. Cursed is the ground for your sake, and sorrow you shall eat of it all the days of your life. My God. In this new heaven, in this new earth, there won't be any curse anymore. Be sure you make it there. Help me, help me, Holy Ghost. Let, let's read on. Let's go back to the 22nd chapter. He says, and there shall be no more curse. And there shall be no more curse. There won't be any sickness. There won't be any death. Are you hearing me? No sickness. Why? Because of, because of the water of life and the tree of life. There won't be any more death. Are you with me? There will be no more curse. Because you see, a curse was placed in the garden as a result of the fall. But in the new heaven and the new earth, guess what? No curse. No curse. No curse. None whatsoever. Mm. There won't be any more thorns. There won't be any thistles. There won't be any briars. Look at uh, Isaiah 55. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Glory to God. And I believe it's verse 13. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 55 and verse 13. And I want to read that in your hearing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Instead of the thorn, listen what Isaiah says. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree. Instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. In the new heaven and the new earth, no briars, no thistles, no thorns, no curses. And when you look at, listen, in the present state, in the church age, in the present state that we're in now, there's curses. Are you with me? They say it's what? This, we, we can feed 100 billion people. And, and there's no reason for people to even be starving in the earth. You know why people are starving? And you know why this is going on and that is going on? All of that is, listen, all that is orchestrated, manipulated, and done by demon spirits. Are you hearing me? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and wicked spirits. Four divisions of Satan's army. Because of the fall, are you with me? And because of mismanagers, you know, certain countries, you, you have people that are starving. Listen, and it shouldn't be. It's because of greed, sin, mismanagement, and we can go on and on. The reason, listen, the reason that Russia is invading Ukraine right now, listen, it's, it's, it's demon spirits behind all of that. And I can go on and on. That, that's another message that I'm going to have to preach. De demon spirits are orchestrating all of that. Are you hearing me? But it's going to come a time where the demons, listen, the demons is going to be cast into the lake of fire. Huh? The devil, the antichrist, huh? the false prophet. They're going to be cast into the lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone. And there, listen, there won't be any more curses. There won't be any sicknesses and, and starvings. Are you with me? You, 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 listen, leaders of, 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 of many nations, guess what? Even politicians and, and leaders, and we can go on and on. They won't be able to manipulate anything anymore. Because they will be eradicated. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, beloved? I'm talking about no more curses, no crying, no dying. Listen, no sicknesses, no diseases, no pandemics. I'm talking about the new heaven and the new earth. Because, see, the curse will have lifted in the things that are coming, listen, hereafter. The curse will have lifted. It won't exist anymore. Uh, because in the kingdom age, the curse is going to lift. It's not going to be a curse anymore in the kingdom age. It's because it's going to lift in the kingdom age. And in the perfect age, there won't be any curse. Let's read on. And there shall be, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God. Listen, but the throne of God, but the throne of God and the, oh my God. And on the lamb, listen, 
that shall be it. And his servants shall serve him. My God. And his servants shall serve him. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. There shall be no more curse. Listen, there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of, listen, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. So every believer in the perfect age is going to be serving God and it's going to be loving God. My God, that, that perfect age, and they're going to gladly, gladly serve the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, I'm not out of word, just out of time, but I trust and pray that you receive something on tonight. Glory to God. Listen, again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If, you've, if this has been a blessing to you, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and make a comment. We welcome your comments. Share it with someone else. If you would do that, we encourage you to do that. Please, ma'am, and please, sir, by all accounts, do that. And if you would like to visit one of our live services each and every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. here at The Rock. Praise God. We want to see you. Glory to God. Here at The Rock each and every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. If you've got questions about our ministry or like to know more, hey, give us a phone call. Our office is open from Tuesday through Friday. Praise God. We'll love to hear from you. And, and before I close tonight, let me say this. Let's pray for Ukraine. Let's, let's, let's pray for God's uh, intervention. And, and, and we are to do that. We have a responsibility to do that. And, 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 and I'm going to interject and say some things here. The things that are happening if you're a real Bible reader, it shouldn't surprise you because these are things that we know were going to come to pass. Are you with me? If, if, if you are a real Bible reader and if you've been following with this from the very beginning in the book of Revelation, are you hearing me, beloved? And so I want us to, in, our, in my close tonight, I want us to pray for the country of Ukraine, to pray for that, that, uh, the, the, the leader of the Ukrainian people over there, and um, what, 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 what Putin is doing, listen, that, that's a demon spirit. He's being controlled, operated, manipulated by demons. Um, plain and simple. Plain and simple. Uh, you, you got some folk don't believe. Let me tell you something. The devil is real. Demons are real. It's not a figment of your imagination. Demons exist as a result of the fall. And so... Uh, uh, we want to pray for that country. So if you join in with me right now, right wherever you are, let's, let's pray for the Ukrainian people. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we pray for the Ukrainian people on tonight. And God, we pray for your divine intervention in the midst of that situation that is going on over there. We pray for ministering spirits. Uh, Hebrews 1.14, are they not all ministering spirits that have been sent forth to minister to those who should be heirs of salvation? And Father, we pray for those people. The, the, the devastation, it's, it's become war-torn, uh, people are losing their lives, uh, families are being destroyed, people are being killed, uh, and, and Father, we recognize it's a spirit, we bind it in the name of Jesus, and Father, we pray for the comfort and the help of those people, Father. We pray, oh God, that you would embrace them and grace them. We pray that you would minister to them, Father. And we ask it in the name of Jesus. We ask it in the name of Jesus. And Father, we bind the spirit that is behind it, that's manipulating, deceiving. We bind that spirit, Father, in Jesus' name. We just pray for your divine intervention, that you would divinely intervene in that, Father. And Lord, we, we pray that aid and help will be given to those people. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Listen, trust and pray that you were blessed, enriched, and helped, and nourished from the word of God on tonight. Listen, tune in next, next week, should the Lord tarry. And, and uh, if you would like to, come and visit one of our live services each and every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. This is Bishop Walker here in the sanctuary of SRC on another Bible study night. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. Tell the Lord, Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you. And Lord, I trust you. 
Until next time, be blessed.